I like to make my tenants feel welcome here, you know? Goofy voice is welcome. Goofy voice is welcome. Uh, I will say the trees are currently yeah. what's in focus in yes. the shot. Is he tied up? Rent. He is tied up. Nice. This guy knows his audience. Why haven't we tied someone up like this? Well, whoever has the specific kink that is forcing the tying up scenes into all of our projects likes it better. I don't think it's one of us. I think all it's three. It's all three. <laughs> I'm gonna use the evidence to subdue you. That's pretty metal. So, um, you you want anything? No, so that, that shot was really nice because it didn't really have either of the characters in it. Kind of getting like a King Candy slash um, brick vibe from it. Fun fact, and this isn't even a joke, if they keep it to just baseball cards, it is better than brick and King Candy. We're back! We're back, dude. And ready to react. That's my catchphrase with react. And we haven't reacted in a while, in a hot minute, but we are here reacting. And for this here video, we are going to be reacting. If, if you guys followed, we did our very own 48 hour short film competition. It was a lot of fun. We got a ton of submissions, crazy numbers. We're only gonna pick three today. Well, two and two and then ours. Inclu including ours. Three including ours. Well, we gotta use, we gotta do ours. Of we gotta course. do we ours, gotta do ours I mean. of course. But we had more than that. So many good ones. I they mean, burned up though. <laughs> in a fire. They, yeah, yeah, the submissions, they're completely lost. So for those who might not have participated, these people were supposed to make a short film within 48 hours with specific criteria, a character that has to be in it, an occupation they're supposed to have, a line that's supposed to be in it, and a prop that's supposed to be in it. And a genre. And they have a choice of two genres. They can either do both or pick one. That are randomly selected. Just like a normal 48 hour <laughs> film festival would be. A what? A what? A what? We came up with all the rules ourselves. <laughs> we did not plagiarize them. Ours was 49 hours. Well, no, ours was 48, Nine but it was hours. a contest. It wasn't a competition. No, yeah, no, 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 no. It wasn't a film festival either. It was a fun different. thing. It was different. Different enough. We made up our own genre. It was legally different enough. We made up our own dinosaur films, not in your goddamn film <laughs> festival. So this is from Volpez Media. The genres that they got were noir and fish out of water. Um, Very cool. And, uh, a lot you, you can know. do with that. We actually did two competition weekends because the first one we ended up having to postpone. Yes. So this was actually a submission from the first round of uh, submissions. And I'll put up the character. I don't remember off the top of my head. I'm sure we'll see it. It was Jackson or Jill Gallagher. Jackson or Jill Gallagher, private, private investigator. investigator. So, and they got noir and fish out of water. I'm going to guess they did noir. Are, but we will see. All right. Hi, Mr. Gallagher. How you doing? Monday, July 5th. Getting to Tallahassee was hard, but leaving Chicago was even harder. Hey, it's still not... I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Where the hell is this thing taking me? I can't, I can't figure out what the prop we said was. It was a notebook, and the prop was a notebook. Oh, wait, what was the line? React. Yeah, we can, we, we'll put it up. We Stop reacting to, to your phone. React to the screen. I want to know what it was to know if they used it properly or not. Mm. This is true. Uh, <laughs> this is not how you run a, a non-festival. Yeah. <laughs> we landed on whatever you do, don't go in there. Yes, that's the that's the. That's line. a good line. Hi, Mr. Gallagher. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jaworski. Listen, thank you for the place. It, you didn't have to do all this for me. Oh, you're welcome. I like to make my tenants feel welcome here, you know? Goofy voice is welcome. Yeah. Goofy voice is welcome. Although I will say the trees are currently what's in focus in yes. the shot. And lit. <laughs> it's a noir, dude. That's a, I, That's true. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you just did a little Tommy was so Laugh. <laughs> my next update will be after my meeting with the local sheriff's department. Truly, Jackson Gallagher. It almost feels like he made this by himself. There were two people in that last scene. No, but in general, like, it looks like a lot of this could be done was, by one was person. Was that not a real German man? You ain't getting anywhere with your car sounding like that. See, I heard you coming down the road. Really? Yeah, man, it's like, uh, you know, it, whenever you drive so much, it just kind of freezes up and it stops working. Really? Yeah, 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 you know. It's got a funny new art trope that I like is that when the main character finds different characters, like all, every character is really distinct. Yeah, yeah, really weird. The noir character is kind of what grounds everything. And you don't want to take it to no shops, they'll rob you blind. Here, I can fix it for you free of charge. How mean are we gonna get with these? I'd say somewhere in the in the, in the the middle, you know, like we can laugh, just react. Why are you questioning reacting? Well, it looks like crap currently. <laughs> Is what I wanted to say. I mean, this is made in 48 hours, though. This is yeah. probably like the sun's going down. He's trying to. Yeah, the sun's going down. They're trying to get it done. You fixed it? Yeah, I did all I could. Have. It should be able to get you around. Audio is very student filmy. I did all I could with a single wrench. I will, I'm gonna go screw it on off. Uh, bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs> 
Hey, it's still not. <gasps> is he tied up? He is tied up. Nice. This guy knows his audience. Although, <laughs> this is unique. We've never done a tie up like this. Listen, dude, not he's like subverting this. expectations, dude. Why haven't we tied someone up like this? Well, whoever has the specific kink that is forcing the tying up scenes into all of our projects likes it better when uh, <laughs> they're tied up like that, obviously. I don't think it's one of us. I think all it's three. It's all three. <laughs> and we all simultaneously like it better when men are tied up like this. <laughs> well, it's funny. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Oh yeah? Wait, he said I wouldn't go in there if I were you. That's not the line, right? Or maybe we should go back. Just double check. <laughs> I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Well, he could say it later, dude. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Because this. <laughs> oh, nice. <we> got him. <laughs> Wherever you film this, does the sun never come up? <laughs> yeah, you shot this very quickly. Yeah, it is all like at dusk. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, it's so oh, weird. I thought he, for he's, sure. he's found the perp. Because I think that's a shirt that has holes in it. That's what he was looking at earlier, I think. I'm gonna use the evidence to subdue you. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's gonna use the evidence to fucking kill Oh him. my gosh. I'm gonna kill you with your own goddamn evidence. <laughs> That's pretty this metal. Is me this is that's, noir. That's, yeah. that's pretty metal. Well, he's not taking him in alive, dude. No. The evidence is, is useless. He doesn't need the evidence anymore. Once you got no air, dude. That would be an awesome line if he's killing him. He's like, what? but this is evidence. It's inadmissible. Dude. And then he kills him. That would have been so There's badass. There's not going to be a court date. <laughs> Just chokes him out. Case is solved, but I'm not done yet. I'll spend more time here to keep an eye out for trouble. Down here, there'll be a lot of it. Until then... Jackson Gallagher. Very cool. Made in 48 hours. Made in 48, Made in 48 hours. 48 hours. Congratulations. And this one was completely on time. All right, so little review thoughts, uh, you know, words of praise. First word of praise. It was not long. It was only six yeah. minutes. When we did not give you guys an upper time limit, it did not uh, like overstay its welcome. They clearly were thinking, okay, what's the most cost effective, like time-wise yeah. to like what I'm shooting? There was a lot of points where it's like, this is just a long drawn out shot of his hand writing with the narration, where it's like, this is giving us information fast yeah. and it's fast to shoot and edit. It's an economic way to go. There's things that I'm that they tried that I'm glad that they tried. Like there is like a fight scene. There is a scene where they're driving a car through, through a street and that sounds simple enough, but it's also super easy to just film a 48 in a in a room and we uh, do it almost every time we do it almost every time and so I'm, I it's it's cool to see that they tried things that are a little yeah. bit bigger than that I think I, also, I think good use of the character too. shot on location shot on well you got it handed to you that it was noir and yeah. private investigator was yeah the they, they did like, private investigator they did like noir as was, was completely seamless so. we're all obviously kind of goofy filmmakers ourselves so I I thought all the characters were pretty fun I think that's that the way to do it if they would have yeah. not had them do silly voices it would, I would have been oh, way yeah. less interested in the plot. You don't have a lot of time to sell your audience on your concept. You don't have a lot of time to like entertain them. So, so throw it out there. Well, and it's memorable too. If you do That's a silly voice, like, you know, if you watch a dozen of these, if you go to a 48, you, you'll end up watching dozens, if not hundreds of, of short films. More than you want to see. Like I remember the not German guy at the beginning. Yes, no, that guy <laughs> who does the Tommy was so laugh at the end. <laughs> Whoever the heck that was. I do I do a lot for my tenage. I'd um, like to see what their other work is like. Yeah, I, I, sure. I think for a 48, it's pretty like well put together. It very much feels like a group of friends just kind of had a silly idea and then just went with it, which is kind of the way to do 48s, especially if you're not yeah, like- Yeah, don't come up with something beforehand. Yeah. Come up um, with something- Oh, it, it totally felt like they yeah, were following no, it, the prompt. I was worried. We followed the prompt. Yes. Yeah, and it seems like you also had fun, which to me, definitely. that's the most important thing. Definitely important. looks like you had fun. My final thoughts are it objectively sucked, but I'm proud of you. <laughs> that's a very good way of putting it. If you ever do the official 48, that line was changed so dramatically and yeah, you really if, have to stick to oh, the yeah. If we had rules- Because we don't care, yeah. we're just drinking claws or whatever. Be because, because the rest of the submissions were burned. We also don't remember what the line yeah, was. I, I didn't remember the line. Kevin has to be the line I, keeper. I but um, if you did a real one, 
they, yeah. they, they would oh, disqualify you'd be out, your you'd, ass. You'd, you'd literally be. Oh, yeah, like you'd be completely disqualified. So you just, would uh, be done. Um, I agree with Sam Slade. Um, the camera should be focused more um, on the right things. Um, <laughs> Don't shoot it when the sun is down. I actually appreciated that. I think I thought it worked for one scene. It didn't work for all of the scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 hard to keep it up, especially with lighting and stuff. Maybe that's just what it looks like. Maybe he's from Alaska or something, dude. Maybe that's just what it looked like all day. I also want to say I did actually notice that you attempted to do well, fish out of water was the other one. Did he try doing both? Well, because at the beginning he was saying, oh, I'm oh not, he's it, not it, it takes a while yeah. to get used to the culture around here. So I like that you actually did a slight attempt both. to in incorporate both. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Even though it was just a small thing. Other than that, I agree with Sam Slade. It objectively sucked, but I'm proud of you. And so we're going to move on to the next short. And I'm usually not proud of anyone, including ourselves. Oh, well, uh, yeah, we're never proud of Actually, the only person I'm ever proud of is Chris. Yeah. The next short film is called The Big Rookie. It is from Updog Productions. Uh, who is one what's, of our patrons? What's Updog? So we, we should be careful. We can't really criticize him. He does pay us. Oh, he's one of our patrons? Yes. So he's our boss. He is our boss. <laughs> so we're now we're now criticizing our boss. Here. That is so funny. And he was late, but he wasn't late. Let's be honest. No, he was on time. He was on time. We, we were late. late. You're on sir. time enough he, for us. We were late, sir. He did. You're we set enough. the time wrong. So this is another one from the first weekend that we did it. It's from Updog Productions. The genres were What's Updog? <laughs> you didn't do that every time. The genres were cop or nonlinear, and they chose to do nonlinear. The oh, why did we have that as a genre? That was me and Kevin. It was supposed to be like a Christopher Nolan type film. <laughs> I like Christopher uh, Nolan movies. I don't necessarily think... Well, it's a chance to make funny bad short films and potentially interesting short films. It's I, just, I don't think I've ever seen a student film do it right. I do want to share that the soundtrack, 90% of the soundtrack was original score. So that is something kind of cool about the short. Cool. He also added in the note, it makes Ralph the Movie Maker's Lover looks like Citizen Kane. <laughs> oh. He's right. our boss. So he's already, he's our boss. He, so this is a masterpiece. Well, I agree with you then. Whatever you want me to think of this <laughs> short. Whatever you want me to think. I'll say the jokes that you want. <laughs> Mr. G. You want anything? Tea. Thank you, Mr. Fats. I don't want any tea. Ma, no tea. My Mickey Mantle card, my most prized card, that rat still has. That's why I'm here. That's why you're here. I want you to find Stanley. I will say, like that house. That's a Shot very nice house. Shot on location. <laughs> Gotta stop saying that. The big rookie. That's a good title. It's a good title. He didn't get noir, but his heart was set on noir. <laughs> Howard, a young man named Jackson is here to see you. Jackson G, is it? He tells me you wanted to see him. Do you know Jackson? Yes, Ma. I know Jackson. Let him in. I like I like that shot. That's a very smooth camera move. It's, it's deliberate. That is direction. Yeah. Yes. I believe that's our boss actually right there. Oh, so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Have a seat right there. Yeah. Uh, oh, he looks so fast. You you want anything? Tea. Gotta give. Some I like room. that. Gotta the give shot. Some room. Every no, single no. shot. So that that room. shot was really nice because it didn't really have either of the characters in it. But it had the desk in it. The desk is the is desk. establishing the desk is the character. Desk is the character. I, I see. I like these push-ins. I like genuinely. Well, here's the, like, the, the shots feel thought out. Yeah, they are not yes. what what most 48s, including Remember? ours, which is just oh, whatever works on the day. Are you a photographer, Howard? No, I uh, I found the photo, but um, you see, uh, this is a picture of him. Oh, who is that? I like that guy. That guy looks like a goober. Stanley I wonder if there's any relation to Jack or Digital Joe Zoom? Gallagher. Dutch angle. Is it purposeful though? Always. With our boss. He knows what he's doing. Actually, I don't think there's an un-Dutch angle in this movie. Oh, interesting. Valuables. The valuables. The valuables in your suitcase. Yeah. He's clearly made stuff before. Yes. And what's hot on the market? Baseball cards. Whitey Ford. You know, uh, Ed Matthews. Kind of getting like a King Candy slash um, Brick vibe from it. If they keep it to just baseball cards, it is better than Brick and King Candy, in my mind. Yeah, because they both do like drugs. Yeah, because they both just become regular drug crime yeah. movies, and you're just like, why? Stand through the suitcase, my nose on 
if the deal went wrong, he, he stole the suitcase. Nice. Wouldn't, sure. wouldn't you steal baseball cards, dude? <laughs> baseball <laughs> cards is legit. My Mickey Mantle card, my most prized card, that rat still has it. It's still going. That's, we like shot. when characters run away from the camera. It's very fun. I, that shot genuinely, comedically, worked super well for me. He, he had photos of me and, and this girl. I what? I don't know if he has more in his gazebo? I took the ones he had. I, dude, I, I need help here, please. Whatever you do, don't go in there. Okay. There's, There's the line. line. Why don't you go to the police? Police, uh, you know, I just have a bad history with them. That's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, Howard, just like Stan, I haven't been completely honest with you. Howard, do you know what the G in Mr. G stands for? Gallagher. <laughs> Gallagher? Jackson Gallagher. You're his brother? Okay, so that's, that's how you get don't come near me or my brother again, Howard. I know what you're up to. You're just a rookie PI trying to play the game. I can't tell if he's like delivering the lines so flat on purpose or mm -hmm. if it's an accent. It's almost like he's Miller's Crossing. It's on purpose. It's on purpose. It is on it's, purpose. He, well, he pays us. He's on that purpose. was paced so well. Yeah, it just, it got in, it had its twist. Well, congratulations, up dog. What's you up dog? It. That is what's up dog. That's that what, is what is up that dog. That is what's up dog. Now um, we know. The thing that really helps the pacing of it is that it it's clear the shots were thought out. Whether it was yeah. 30 seconds before they rolled camera or not, they were they were like, this is what the scenes needs for the, the coverage of the scene instead of just whatever on the day. It's clear this person has made other things before. Yeah, I, I will also Ooh, say, you know, I, I know it's popular to complain, uh, at least in like the YouTube filmmaker space, it's popular to complain about the use of gimbals, which is what I'm assuming you use for those push-in shots. There's a lot of gimbal shots. There's a lot of gimbal shots, but I think when they're used like that to like actually do an effect shot where it's like, okay, we're pushing in on this, we're pulling away from this, we're doing this dramatic like, camera movement. I think that they're a lot more effective than other shorts that you see that are just like, we just put it on a gimbal and and it's just kind of like hanging around like yeah. for me if you're putting the camera on a gimbal and that's what you're that's your crutch there needs to be it, a reason the, for it any there needs to be a reason for it the i think the dividing line is what they did in this short where they used it to do dramatic camera moves yeah and this is just a guy holding a camera i feel like most of the time they do it it's a guy holding a camera like, and even in this short they did that too there was several shots yeah, where oh, like, yeah. it's on a gimbal and now I'm thinking about the guy holding the camera. Yeah. There's, there's mainstream movies where I, I complain about this, where I'm just yeah. like, this just looks like a guy's holding a camera. You tell you complain about that with Moonlight because it's like, oh, why is the camera angle low here? It's because yeah, the because camera, the camera guy is shorter was, than the actor. Shorter than the actor. Most of the time, it's not a huge deal, but I, I'm glad that they actually used the gimbal as like- Creative some, some, shots. They used it to do shots that you wouldn't be able to do normally. Yeah. I'd also say that about a lot of things that student films would do in this short that I think were ultimately warranted. Like he's like, oh, he did have those planned out shots and he did the noir and he did the black and white thing because it is what, it that it was It was yeah, part of what he was trying to just, do. Yeah, I don't think it was just black and white because the footage looked bad. I think it was black and white because he wanted to make a noir. You know, it's not like Lover where he planned on it being color first and then yeah, made it black no, and no, white I later. I don't think he spent an hour lighting the scene. Like I think they just kind of like turned on specific lights and turned off specific lights. Steven Spielberg yeah. invented that method. It's called turning on the lights. Uh, we do that, you know, occasionally too as well. And we only did that up until like five minutes ago. Yeah, I think they do it effectively. I, everything is in focus for the most part. Yeah, there was that. The audio for the most part. Audio was not good. Is not the best, but it's also not the worst. You know, it did. It, it, I heard most of the line. Yeah. There's a good amount of noise. And the original music I thought was, uh, it added. You know, yeah, it's actually, actually, actually not bad. Audio problems like that, I I'm, I come to expect with a 48. It's hard to dodge. Yeah. Hard not everybody has Chris. But, everybody has yeah, Chris. Everybody. Did you say that Updog, the actual Updog man was the Jackson Gallagher guy? Yes. Okay. Um, the performance is not great. Do you mean it is great? I'm and being, he's handsome. <laughs> I'm being real with you. You're a handsome guy. The performance was very lackluster. Maybe that was the point though, dude. <laughs> it's a, it, here's the thing, it's a small role. And so it did not bother me for the majority of the short. It only bothered me at the end when you had a bunch of lines. Yeah. I've seen much worse performances because it could be a choice. I'm not saying it is. That's now, as the resident actor, do you have any <laughs> words of, of advice? You know, we didn't start off being good. We, we haven't become good no. at anything we'll, we'll yet. See. Monotone delivery can be good. 
There are plenty of ways that you can do monotone and it can be good, especially in a noir type setting. If you see like me in, in say Game Changers, right? Like I don't have any fluctuation to anything I say. I just say it. You're welcome. Part of it is you believe everything you're saying, even if you're, you are saying it monotone, like the character believes it completely. Also in roles like, like that, your face is supposed to do a lot of the work too. I compared the way he was delivering his lines to, what's the guy's name in Miller's Crossing? Uh, Tom Reagan? Yeah, Tom Reagan, he says everything super monotone. Brooke Daniels is dead. Gee, that's tough. Don't get hysterical. It's like what you said, it's a very believable performance. Like, yes. he believes everything he says. It's not just that he says it in a monotone way, his eyes are saying a lot. I, I also think a lot of it just ends up coming down to practice. It's also, Twice. it's a 48 dude, he yeah, was on, like, he was that's on what I'm set. saying. Like, that's, yeah. He was also the director, so he was also probably focusing on-, on Doing other stuff. So you know, if, if they didn't exist, I would never want to be directing and also acting. It's, yeah, it's I'm terrible on camera. But it's, it's worth mentioning. I, I wanted to get it out there because but, I'm, because I, I, I do want to be honest. To me, you know. performances didn't hold it back. No. But the thing that is interesting to me, or like the thing that I enjoyed about it is we, you have this like kind of funny mystery of it's baseball cards, and then you have kind of a funny payoff. I think it's fun. I think it's funny. Yeah, it's simple, it's paced well, and there's clear uh, thought put into the shots. And you did it. You have a new short film. Up dog, I'm gonna cut out all the parts where we were negative. That was a perfect short film. 10 out of 10. 10. Like, there's a jump cut? I don't know. I think I really liked it. I like the first short. It does seem like, and, and even in Updog's email, they said they had a lot of fun. That's good. And, uh, that's the most important that's part. That's the most important part. Yeah. The reason we're being, I don't want to say so easy on these shorts, is literally that is the most important part. If you had fun and you made something, that is like the goal of the 48. The goal okay, of the now you have a little thing that you made and you can look back on. It's like I made it in 48 hours. Yeah. And it's a, it's a learning experience at the same time. The argument I would make for any 48 competition, why I think people should do them, is they are really good at forcing you to practice skills that are super useful outside of a 48. Yes. Outside of 48 on a regular set, you need to be able to think quickly, solve problems in like on the day, whether it's a 48 or not, you have to be done by a certain time. And recognize when things are necessary or not. Yes. Really forces you to like ask yourself what's important, what do I have to like let go of? And that's at every stage too. That is that is while you that is during production, that is in the editing room and you're like, okay God, this isn't gonna work. This has got to change. That needs to be different. Or in the writing stage you're like, okay no no, no we don't have time for that. We have to think simpler. You have to do this, do that. Without further ado we do have to react to the final short film that was submitted. The final surviving yeah. short film. Uh, which was our own. It, the only one in color. The first one was in color. Was it? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it is muted, it's muted. It, it is, is the only one that's not uh, noir, I'll give you that. We're the only team that submitted on the final weekend. That survived. That survived. That survived. That survived. Yes. That, that we're gonna react to. That we're going to react to. <laughs> you would be shocked at all the submissions. The second weekend did have a different character and a different line of dialogue and a different prop. It was Art or Abigail Blackwood. Yes. Inspector. Inspector being very different than <laughs> Investigator. And the line was, this is terrible news. And the prop was rope. Jean I was, was out of the room when they came up with the prop. <laughs> Listen, um, dude, out of the list that Kevin showed me, rope was the best one. Yeah. So you are the one I, to I, finish. I, 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 I did give No. Him. <laughs> My girlfriend did question me, though. We tied someone up again. She was like, what is wrong with you? The second... It was rope. There was never a doubt in my mind that someone was getting tied up. Before the prop was even rope, someone was going to be tied up. I, with our track record, dude, it doesn't matter. We have a problem. Honestly, right. I, I want to pledge, and I'm not. this isn't a hard <laughs> pledge, but I want to pledge that our next short will not have someone. Oh, yeah. I, I think I told Kevin, like, the day after, I was like, I don't pledge I, that. I think that, uh, that, that for tying up, I think we have to, we have to, we have to take a break. We gotta earn it. We have to earn it. We've, we've, we've relied on tying up too much as a question. It's just so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> it cuts to us like, next year. Yeah, I know. We're like, it's been a year. It's been a year. It's been a year. Been a year. So it has been a year. Uh, our genres. We, dinosaur film. We got dinosaur film and, and uh, uh, <laughs> social media influencer film. Scared of we it. now drew dinosaur film. We're going to not do dinosaur film. Yeah, we're going to pussy out a dinosaur true. film. It's true. If yeah. we could make it work, we definitely wanted yeah. to make it work. Yeah. So without further ado, here is uh, the father of dinosaurs. <laughs> now you listen and you listen good. <laughs> okay. Well. Very well. Hey. Oh, my house is my egg, motherfucker! No, 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 please. You would know what to do with it if it was in your possession. Mm. 
first Nick pick with this scene is Nick. I, did I say Nick? You said the Nick pick. pick. First pick of Nick. Why is this real archaeologist using the back of a brush to dig up a dinosaur egg? Because Kevin and I filmed this illegally. There was literally a guy driving around that we were like, Stop. He knows you're not supposed to. He <laughs> stopped and looked at us for a little bit. Because like we filmed this in this like no, little patch. And I was like, oh, we got to film this before that guy comes we got, back. We got to knock it out. You happen to know the exact nature of this specimen's discovery. The first time we've ever shot a short film on this specific I camera. Huh. Northern Iraq. Possibly my Did least favorite part of the short past. It bothers the fuck out of me. So when, when he first says Northern Iraq. Huh. Northern Iraq. Oh, he almost, I see it's what you're saying. Northern Iraq. Like, he almost says the wrong thing first. My apologies. It's uh, so, this North. Is I, this is the first time I've noticed it. You guys wouldn't happen to have any coffee, would you? Um, yeah. Everyone gives a good performance in this, I would say. Oh, all of our actors are always They're good. always great. Yeah. We, we are blessed to have them. Actually, that's one of the best ways to be a better director. To just find get better, actors. more talented people and yes. put them around you. Genuinely, get people around you that are talented, please. Yeah. Like, that's, a lot of people don't do that. But if you notice, every single person on camera, including Cody, even though he's in a terrible, gross character. Yeah. Everyone is charismatic and good looking, and they're all acting well. Uncle Mickey tip number Do 300 that. is put attractive people on camera. We have such good rapport with our actors, and there's a reason we use them for every short, and that's that they're so good. We, we have such a good they relationship. They know what they're in for, too. Yeah. We have such a good relationship with them. They know what our sense of humor is that like when we do shoot, there's already a complete understanding of what the goal is and what the sense of humor is going to be. Which we, we get very lucky with that. There's so many times where you, I'm sorry. the the actor or person you have in the role just does not get the joke. You're like, oh, they don't to explain the joke to them. Yeah. Yes. Especially since they didn't get it from the script. Yes. Yeah. That is the reason why when we find actors we like, we hang on to them for dear life. Because we try to make their experience worthwhile to keep them coming back. Yeah. When they get the joke and they can get it wow, in in no so time nice. and we can do something like this, it's so rewarding. Because all these it people really on screen here can work you with other people if they want because they're that talented. Position. They don't okay. need us. Yeah, but they, they come right? back for some reason, so Thank you for coming by. we don't deserve them. Well, I need someone to turn on the camera, yeah. I guess. Okay. Okay. Well. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> All this stuff is my favorite stuff in this short, for like visually at least. Like yeah, when I when that, I watch that it. shot's good. I love that shot. Who who shot this? Who was behind the camera for this one? Was it? It's probably someone really handsome. Uh, mm -hmm. I was busy busy getting the semen needle. <laughs> <laughs> This shot was hard to get, not because it was actually hard to get, it's because Cody kept saying the line wrong. The goose is hanging high today. So that's the correct line, the, the goose, goose is hanging, hanging high today. today. But Cody kept saying, the goose flies <laughs> high in the sky <laughs> for <today."> me. <laughs> well, Cody got a lot of lo lines wrong, and some of them just had to stay in because we had no other choice. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, that wasn't the line. That could sound like we're shitting on Cody, but what I want to bring this back around to is that even like with even us, if the lines are wrong, Cody's still giving a good performance. For our part, that's it. we're still we're improvising. Like if Cody doesn't say the line right, we're like, okay, well he still got the emotion of the scene. Like and sometimes what he now says is even listen. funnier. Now you listen and you listen good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, to me, this is really the breaking point of the short. If you don't find this funny, you will not find the rest of the short yeah. funny. Oh, Chief, I'm just trying to perform the pair of scientific <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wasn't here for the filming of this, uh, and I'm kind of... Part of me is sad that I missed it, but at the same time, seeing it in the edit for the first time made me laugh out loud. Because to give Cody so much credit, Cody was doing all of this, like, basically oh, he was real. selling this so well. Like, his face being just destroyed was so funny. It, there's a lie! A roost! Don't you see that that egg means more to me than life itself? It's probably my favorite line. Um, if you knew my true intentions, you would not have reacted so harshly. We know what you want, Art. Yeah, we know what you want, Art. You're here to steal the egg. The egg. This is one of those scenes where we we will write scenes with the idea of it will be funnier once we're there actually filming it with our actors. They got the energy of the scene immediately. If, if the only him. bit of direction you gotta give them is you guys won. Yeah. There is nothing you guys won. This is yeah. your victory lap. Cody was even saying when we were shooting it, he's like, I love this because I'm like genuinely getting pissed off. While we're shooting, I'm like, I'm like annoyed that they are acting like this. Cody also told me afterwards, like he and I talked the next 
next day, and he was like, that scene is where I got the short. I am the loser. <laughs> also, Nicole's face, I want to bring it back real quick, because Nicole is so fucking good at acting. But obviously, there's a little semen in it. Her face there when she throws it. Oh, I also want to just, I'm going to pause actually. Oh, wow. First pause of the so night. First pause of the night. So this moment happened in that wide. She throws the syringe. Mm -hmm. It's not in the script that she throws the syringe and he catches it and folds it over. Yeah. Cody did that. He improvised that moment in the scene. In the scene. And in that moment, me and Alec were freaking out behind we're, camera. We were like, that was perfect. We have to get a close that. <laughs> yeah. That. And not only that, I, I kept thinking about that moment. I was like, Cody is such a good goddamn actor <laughs> that he's literally thinking like he. You can tell. I, I can tell in that you moment. Can watch the I can cogs watch. Turning I can. In his brain. I can tell Cody yeah. is in character and is like the character wants to inseminate the egg the entire scene, wants and now his opportunity the is there, <laughs> not scripted. That, it just happened to land there, and he and he crosses over like like he's from Basic Instincts. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, dude, Cody wants to inseminate the egg. It's not Cody. That is the character. I was so blown away. It was good stuff. It's an improvised action. Oh, you son gosh. of a bitch. You cocksucker. It's not just me, dude. It was in front of It's literally it's in, front of in front of you. No, it's not. I could have changed the world. All it would have taken was the sap of Blackwood in your <laughs> Now that's a Cody I line. I do love the sap of Blackwood line. Cody came up with that in the room. Yeah. It's very Daniel Plainview. It's also very gross. Calling so cum sap. You killed the dinosaurs! <laughs> dinosaurs! <sighs> A little DIY filmmaking. We got to the end of the night and we needed to do something with the cop. Great that they have separated. We knew that the shot criminals. was just going to be great cop lights car. And we got to that point and we had no idea what to do. We were just kind of like, um. Maybe we'll find a sewer grate. We filmed this all at my parents' house and they have this little like baby gate, like dog gate. And I saw that and I was like, that. That'll work. <laughs> That'll work. And then we, we tried it and it worked great. Like the lesson to take from that is to just be like, always have Think that on like, your feet. what could work? And to just try it. Like I didn't even know when I, when I saw that, I, it wasn't a guaranteed, oh, this will work. It was, this could work. Let's try it. Uncle Mickey, objectively bad. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would say that I'm really proud of us. I'm really happy that we did it. I had fun with this one too. I, I, I like always, always. I always have fun with the 48s. And with every 48, I, I feel the same way every time. At, like when we first release it, I'm never sure how to feel about it. The things I'm happy with as far as our work goes, I think it's, even though it's got a lot of similar elements to what we've done, I think it feels pretty different with its structure. Mm -hmm. its I would say pretty, so. It's pretty loose, and but it also feels like it's got a, you know, beginning, middle, and end. It's sure. too long. If it, like, if, if for, it is a bit too long. For, for, if this was a 40 Oh yeah, no, it'd be disqualified. We'd have to cut uh, it down to seven minutes. We would be disqualified. I do think that, you know, potentially we use tying up as a crutch. It's a crutch in that it's a situation where we easily know, like we're not challenging ourselves when we tie somebody up. That's true, we, we know we what the know scene's the gonna dynamic. look like and feel like and sound like yeah. and what's funny. Yeah, the reason I think that we think tying up is so funny is that it is an inherent power shift where we're like, you know where the power should lie. So anytime the power doesn't lie in that expected paradigm, like the person that's tied up doesn't have the power, the person that is standing over them has all the power. Anytime that that is played with, it's funny. So in this short, when Nicole's character, when she's first tied up, that's funny because even though she's tied up, she really has all the power in that scene. And so that's- comedic. That's how it's played. Yes. Yeah, she's, she doesn't, you don't fear for her safety. Yes. You don't think anything really bad is going to happen to her. Yes. It's not that I think that it's a crutch necessarily in that like, oh, it's just easy now. It's, it's more that like, it's something that's in our wheelhouse. We know how to do it. We're not challenging ourselves. So if I were to be critical, if I were to stuff the filmmakers doing this, they should challenge themselves. Yeah, if I was the audience for, for these hacks, I would be like, oh my gosh, they tied someone up they again. They tied somebody up again? They've been doing this for five years. Like yeah. five years of people being tied up, not doing this for five years. They've been doing it for much longer and they've been tying people up for five years. But to be fair, we didn't release all of them just recently. My final thoughts is I'm really happy we did it. And I'm really happy that we organized this. For my goals, I, I, I really just wanted to make a 48 yeah. without having to be tied down to the 48 project. Pun intended. Just to do it. 
just to do it. And like with every 48, I'm super happy that we have this short film now. I mean, that's just the point. A good thing to force us back into the habit of, of everything, writing, shooting, and editing. Our, our lives are so busy that it's hard to actually force us to do something like this. It's almost like we have to do it this way. Yeah. It's, the, it's the shot of adrenaline that we need once a year to kind of get the blood flowing. We'll get the blood flowing again. Yeah. So I, production going. I'm also very glad we did it. I think at the end of the day, it's a, it's a short that I'm, 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 I'm happy with. A one that I think is very funny, and I hope other people think so. Well, Cody getting beaten up. Cody getting beaten is up funny. is is going to be funny, at, no matter who you are. We do have to give out awards. So who who made the best short film? We did. <laughs> no, no, we we did say that we we couldn't give ourselves awards. Who said that? We, we did. I didn't say it. I'm giving ourselves awards. Uh, best acting goes to our cast. Uh, <laughs> Best writing, God, sorry, we wrote it better. <laughs> Cinematography. Between the people that, that submitted stuff. Yeah, we submitted you know, this. But no, but like the other two people that-, that They should have done better. <laughs> In the two shorts, I would say Updog wins best cinematography. Ours is better though. <laughs> Between the two shorts, I would say that Volpez Media, <laughs> they win for best acting. For best script. Not better than ours though. For best script. It's a tie between the two short films. You'll allow ties. Yes. But you will not allow the better short to win. <laughs> they agree. Um, I'm not subscribed to them. You know what? You guys vote. You guys vote. <laughs> I'm not subscribed to them. <laughs> For best sound, I would give it to Updog. For sure. What's Updog? For best editing, that one's going to us. That one's going, <laughs> one's going, to, us. going to us. No, I am proud of their shorts. I, I think they should be proud of what they've done. Best direction easily would go to Updog, though. Yes. Well, actually, all the awards go to Updog. He does pay us. I am going to say that uh, the two winners, so the two, the, the winner and the runner-up, because I, I would say the winner ultimately does have to be uh, the, the first one from Volpe's Media, oh, okay. because they got it in on time. And so the winner the oh. is going to get an <laughs> Uncle line. Mickey TV shirt, or, oh my god, an Uncle Mickey Productions shirt is what you win. <laughs> Why you're yeah. dropping the prize I'm right here, the right prize now, right. live? You get a free TV shirt. <laughs> and for the second runner-up, you know what they get? They did. They weren't as good. They what didn't. They, get? they didn't get in on time. For the second runner-up, they were. They were almost as good. They also get an Uncle Mickey T-shirt. Wow! Wow! Two yeah. T-shirts. Two T-shirts. Where's my T-shirt? You don't get one. Uh, Next video, I, I should shirt. be wearing two Uncle Mickey shirts. <laughs> 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 Thank you guys so much for participating. Send us your T-shirt sizes? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll email them. No, comment below. <laughs> comment below. Comment your address and your T-shirt yeah, size. Put it in. All right. We are going to have to have you pay for shipping. <laughs> and for the shirt. And for the shirt. <laughs>